Yes, Capricorn, it's uh, a continuing saga of karma. Um, last month we started talking about the North Node and the South Node and how that's impacting um, your lifelong goals, your social relationships. This month I want to talk about the planet Venus and also the planet Mercury because these two planets rule your fifth and ninth house respectively and these are very important zones of karma. Um, if we look at Venus there in your seventh house, it's been playing out now. So there's a strong karma associated with rekindling your love, rekindling your intimacy with that significant other, your partner, your spouse. Um, and that's continuing and it's continuing in a way that is going to be thoroughly transformative due to the fact that it is, has um, the aspect of Pluto, the primary demolisher, as I call it. It may demolish your relationships only to build them up. You mustn't be afraid of the process of elimination. Now, you may feel that in this process, all of the things you hold near and dear are, are being yeah, kicked to the curb. But you have to remove any sort of bias in this situation, you have to listen more than you speak and listen more than you speak to your spouse or partner because they have some valuable information for you and they may be words that you don't necessarily want to hear. But that is precisely what needs to happen and it shows us that the way in which you love is being transformed. Now you're a practical person. Generally what I found is the Capricorn shows their emotion through practical expressions. This transformative influence of Venus and Pluto is very interesting because it shows that, that you may actually, because Venus is in the sign of Cancer, the very, very emotional water sign, that the transformation could be happening in terms of trusting more to express what you feel in your relationships, not necessarily feeling that you have to give or do something practical for your partner, but just to simply open up and bear your soul to them. So this is a very, very important transit. And as the month commences, <clears throat> you'll see that this is going to become a stronger and stronger force, a very potent force in terms of um, helping your relationships. Right now, Mars is in your eighth house of sexual intimacy and Venus is going to follow up on that. So both these planets are going to trigger an outpouring of emotion and possibly sexual connections. And that, of course, that, that level of intimacy is where you bear your soul, where you allow the other person to look into you. Intimacy, intimacy, intimacy. It's about opening up and not being afraid to be vulnerable. And that is the basis of your relationship improvements uh, over the coming month and indeed over the coming years as Pluto's transit there is a long drawn out one. Now the second factor we were talking about here is the planet Mercury ruling your ninth house. This is more to do with your future karma. We said that this past karma planet we've been discussing, this Venus influence on your marital life has been occurring for some time. How does that play out? Mercury is showing us that a playful nature is necessary. Mercury now in your fifth house in Taurus. It's interesting how this plays out for you. Past karma planet, there in the future karma sector and the planet ruling your future karma sector in the relationship area. The fifth house and seventh house both have to do with amorous affairs of the heart, you know, love, creativity, bonding, sexuality and long-term commitment. So this is the domain in which all of this is playing out. And as I've said to a couple of the other star signs today, Mercury's involvement in this is always 
pointing to effective communication, clear, concise, critical thinking to break the back of any sort of relationship or emotional issue that you may be having. Here we also see Jupiter, the North Node and Uranus transiting simultaneously with Mercury, this fifth house, which is not only the love affair sector, but it is the creativity center. It is the heart of the horoscope in terms of expression. And this is where I think you need to open up. Even if we walk away from this notion of relationships, just in yourself, moment by moment, living, living from the heart and from a point of, of creative expression. I think that's what I'm trying to say. With that in mind, you should uh, boldly move forward, share your feelings, and don't be afraid to eliminate those things in your life that have been holding you back. At first, it may be painful, but you know the old saying, no pain, no gain. I've added some more information to the mix there at astrology.com.au. You can follow the links, Capricorn. Um, please subscribe. We need your subscription. If you've got some feedback there for me, by all means. If you need a personal reading, I'm here to help you with that. We've still got the rest of 2023 to go. And of course, I'll be back next month with more. Take care. Bye-bye.